Khalil Patel, Program Manager in IYF's South Africa office, where I lead the Skills for Life implementation across our system level interventions within the South African TVET system, as well as our online learning solutions in country. Throughout these modules, we'll be providing you with skills and resources to assist you in creating vibrant and engaging life orientation lessons. During this series, we aim to provide you with an understanding to interactive teaching approaches. We'll take you through each of the steps required in order to engage your learners to provide a meaningful learning experience to them. We'll show you that how you teach is just as important as what you teach. We will take you through each of the required steps to provide learning in a meaningful manner to your students. We can provide you with tips and tricks to help your learners bring through their prior learning into the classroom. Additionally, we will assist you in formulating brainstorming activities as well as group activities in the classroom. All of these modules have been designed in order to instill a sense of confidence within your students. They will be provided with the opportunity to reflect on learning and consolidate new information to existing knowledge. Life orientation prepares and guides young people for life itself. In the title of the subject, it clearly indicates that life orientation is a subject that embeds life skills that are critical and essential for young people to navigate life. And I acknowledge that we live in a world where technology and innovation are rapidly changing and they're certainly at the forefront of everything that we do. However, life skills, life orientation, are critical to enabling young people in navigating this world that's so full of changes. It creates meaning and encourages young people to navigate those difficult conversations. The life orientation course enables young people to take difficult decisions, to have meaningful conversations, to engage in resolving conflict, enables young people to make critical choices about their future, their careers, and helps them to become engaged and productive citizens. I've always experienced teachers that use active teaching methodology and effective and engaging styles in the classroom to deliver the message and to transfer learning in a more informed manner that is that young people are able to assimilate better. So techniques such as encouraging discussion, role plays, conversation, debates, etc. rather than teachers standing and lecturing in front of the classroom or reading from a textbook in an attempt to build good rapport with your young people in your classroom. Feel free to call on your own life experience. Feel free to use examples from your life that has enabled you, that has encouraged you, and that will be meaningful to the young people that are in your classroom that share your backgrounds, that share some of your views, and they will draw a richness from those experiences that you're able to share with them. And it really is an excellent manner in building rapport with the young people in your classroom. It breaks down barriers and it enables young people to view you in a manner that, that is building up and constructive. So your stories, guys, you as teachers, your stories build people up. Feel free to use that because it's magical. Life orientation is not math. There's no one right answer. Your teachings need to allow room for engagement and criticism from your students and you need to be prepared for that. For example, telling students that the only way that they can get a job is by following a set of rules that you lay out is not helpful and sets learners up for disappointment. Be open to exceptions. Guidance allows students to make up their own minds and embrace their own opinions where instructive teaching does not. So lecturers in your classroom, the application of knowledge and application of skill is actually critical for the young person to be able to demonstrate that in your classroom, in your college, before they start making the transition to the workplace. So there's definitely value and merit in textbook learning. There's, of course, there's value and merit in the theory that you're teaching them. But the application of that theory the application of those thoughts, being able to demonstrate them at the workplace, in their communities, back in their homes, that is critical and that is vital. That's how we start building communities and that's how we start teaching or training a young person to be a productive individual when they do transition to the workplace. If you are the only one speaking, no one is learning. Encourage debate. 
encourage the sharing of opinions. Your role is not to regurgitate information, it is to evoke response and debate around guidance. Allow yourself to learn more during your teaching. The more you enrich yourself, the more you tap into your talents, the better your learner response will be. This is why being prepared with lesson plans is so important. By being fully prepared on what you are teaching, you can focus more on how you're teaching rather than what you are teaching. At the IYF, we certainly believe that young people are a solution to many challenges globally. They aren't the problem. The International Youth Foundation delivers a comprehensive life skills training program called Passport to Success. This program is delivered globally in over 80 countries worldwide. We focus on systems change, economic opportunity and youth agency. What makes Passport to Success different though? Why is it received in such a positive manner by millions of young people globally? The difference is the manner in which Passport to Success is delivered in. It truly is an experiential learning methodology. Young people are able to practice what they've learned. Young people are able to engage in ritual conversations, in dialogues that matter to them. And they're able to institute change in their communities and the environment around them. Passport to Success is a comprehensive life skills program. Effective teaching and active teaching methodology in your classrooms is fun. Your learners will love it. It is engaging. It is interactive. It strays from the usual lecture or stand and read from the textbook. It is what is going to enable your learners to take value from the theory behind the lesson. Young people are attracted to the active learning methodology, to the effective teaching techniques, and they respond better. They assimilate more. They're able to demonstrate more. And you will have more fun in your classroom by using little everyday items and techniques. Take a stress ball into your classroom. Throw it around. That will prompt learners to answer your questions. How about using some crayons? How about using little everyday items in your classrooms to demonstrate and to make your learning experiential? Chinua Achebe once said, Nobody can teach me who I am. You can describe parts of me, but who I am and what I need is something I have to find out for myself. It is your mission as an LO lecturer not to tell your students who they are and what they should do, but rather to help them find those answers themselves. Thank you.